gang, this is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, the place where I help you cook your catch over a thousand different ways. Hey listen, today is our last recipe in the Tuna Wars series that I've been putting out all summer long. This is actually recipe number six. And I've saved the best for last and I'll tell you why. I'm putting together a seared bluefin salad. Now, this is an amazing dish because essentially what you want to do is complement the flavors of that tuna and really bring out the essence of the ocean and enjoy your catch in a simple summer salad. I'll tell you what, I think it's time to get going. Let's get going. All right, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the salad with its dressing. After I do that, I'm gonna create the ponzu sauce for the seared tuna. Then, finally, I'm gonna sear the tuna and we'll be in summertime heaven. Here we go. So we'll start off by putting our lemon juice in here. Wow, that's a juicy lemon. I love these things. A little salt, pinch of pepper. Believe it or not, we're gonna put a squirt of honey. Not much, just a little bit, that's enough. Stir that up a little. See my mini whisk, I love these things too. And now we need to drizzle in some really good extra virgin olive oil. I always get my extra virgin olive oil from the Mediterranean market and I either get Greek olive oil or I get Turkish olive oil. I don't trust the Italians. They dilute their olive oil, you never know what the hell you're getting. Alright, you gotta slowly drizzle in the olive oil as you mix. That way you get real emulsification and that is a true mixture. A homogeneous mixture. And oh, by the way, we're going to be going one to one. One part lemon juice, one part olive oil. So I saw how much lemon juice I have, now I know exactly how much olive oil I'll be adding. And there we have it. That's real emulsification. There we go. And that's plenty of, of salad dressing. We have more than enough. Okay, I'm going to start off with some arugula. Straight from the garden. But you can find arugula at any market at this time of year. There are, it's all over the place. I'm also going to put in some Thai basil because I just absolutely love Thai basil. Chopped up some mango. There we go. And now for the equivalent amount of avocado. Same as the mango. I want to create a balanced salad. So now that I've cut it in half, I'm going to, just like I did with the mango, I'm going to Cut some ribbons, cut them right in half, there we go, and toss that in there. I'm going to drizzle in a little bit of the salad dressing, not much, and toss it by hand with my nice clean hands. Alright, set this aside, and let's start working on the ponzu sauce. Okay, I got an eighth of a cup of soy sauce, the juice of one lime. Ponzu sauce is super simple, you guys. There we go. And now I need a chopped scallion, and that's it. Real fine on the chop on the scallion. The finer, the better. You'll find as you, as you progress in your cooking that prep, the time and effort you put into your prep work will pay off in the end. We'll give that a little stir. And there's our ponzu sauce right there. All right, here comes the fun part. We are going to sear the bluefin tuna. Now, I have got store-bought Cajun blackening spice. I'm going to add that, dry, that Cajun dry rub on the outside. I'm going to get my cast iron skillet piping hot. I'm going to add just a tad of olive oil, and then I'm going to drop that tuna, and only for a short amount of time. A little bit of technique is involved, but believe me, it is worth the effort and it's going to turn out awesome. Here we go. Our Cajun Blackening Spice. Love this stuff. Okay. I'm going to get it on one. Two. Two. Two sides only. Nice and thick.
Alright, let's go to the cast iron skillet. My cast iron skillet's been on for about five minutes. It's piping hot. First thing that's gonna go on there is just a tad of olive oil. Perfect. And now here comes this tuna right there. So the secret here is to actually watch the tuna as it's getting cooked right on the sides. You can see it's starting to get a little white. That's, that's the tuna cooking. Searing. I'm just gonna give it another five seconds. Three, four, and five. Take it and turn it over. See the white? See it's building? Another five seconds. Three, four, and five. I'm gonna flip it over on its side. Here we go. God, you can see it's starting to cook already. And here we go. Okay. Okay, it's time to let this rest, and we're getting close to assembly time. My favorite time. Here we go. Okay, let's get this tuna. It's had a chance to cool off. Now we're gonna cut it up into some nice thin slices. Ooh hoo hoo, look at that. Whoa, mama. You gotta use a nice sharp knife for this and make sure that this tuna is cooled off. Wow. That's perfect. Perfecto mundo. All right, time to assemble the salad. Let's get some summertime tomatoes down on the plate. Let's get some of this arugula Thai basil on the plate. Fresh mango, avocado. Okay, let's sprinkle a little bit of some chopped red onions. Take a look at that. Oh my goodness, it's time for a little of this ponzu sauce. Just on top of the tuna. Believe me, this will bring you right back to the moment that you caught that tuna, whether it was an, an, a yellowfin or a bluefin. And by the way, this is the last recipe in our Tuna Wars series. This whole series has been dedicated to the boys and girls who have been hustling their butts, going out and getting those tuna. So, for you guys, here we go. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all of our new recipes. We'll see you guys soon. And if you have any questions about today's recipe, ask them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Take care.